Hello everyone, Signalator here. Welcome back to Resident Evil. Oh god, I am not doing well on ammunition. Uh, what should we do? No, I'll keep this with me for now. So I do have limited space. I'm going to be following the route I usually take. I need space. This is where I find out that there was a second. No, okay. I had to say, this is the point where I do find out there's a second hunter and he was just waiting. They're getting smarter. sure why I did that, wasn't really necessary, but meh, whatever. It feels like the walls are closing in. Another way to go, I doesn't really bear thinking about. Is it Saw Five, where the detective gets crushed? Um, not detective, the FBI agent. I forget his name. It's been a while since I've seen it. I think it's five or six. It's one of those two. Oh no! Don't like it at all. Right, let's re-equip that. I'm. I don't know why I. Unequipped. Oh, book. I do enjoy a nighttime read. Eagle of South Wolf of North. Title needs some work. Ooh, a medal. Is there a special way to use it? Medal of Eagle. November 29th, 1967. I can't get out. I have tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with... Formaldehyde? And those dark, wet and eerie caves. What can I do? At first, I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor. It was like reflex. One name came to my mind, Jessica. I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No, I can't give up. I have to hope they're alive. November 30th. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with, des with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. November 31st. It was a dark and damp underground tunnel and and another dead end, but even in the darkness something caught my eye. Carefully I lit the last match I had to see what it was. A grave, but deeply engraved into the stone was my name, George Trevor. At that instant it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here, and I fell right into their trap. But it's too late now, I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, please forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety. <sighs> I don't think he was listening that day, mate. Down, down we go. Damn it. Yes. 
Yes, got the map. Yeah, I know there's cardboard boxes. Chris, there's shotgun shells there too. Chris, the shotguns. Thank you. No. You do not. He was getting ready to spit his venom at me. I do not appreciate. Someone's got someone's a bit heavy footed. down damn why didn't your head pop All right, take the dagger Remember that those are there. Hello there. Oh, your legs got better, did they? There, have a grenade. You gonna pop? Thank you. Right, let's go this way first. I need to get to a chest and drop these items off. Ooh, the music changed. Spooky. Whoa! Two more gonna jump through the windows here. Shit. Or maybe not. Right, we'll put you in here for now, because we don't need you. Here we'll pop up, pop upstairs and do this room. Hold on. I know it's not much, but shotgun shells. Must have. Put you there. Mail to the Chief of Security. July 22nd, 2.13am. Or PM. 
I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. X day is drawing upon us. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. Lure stars to the estate and obtain BOW's raw combat data against stars. Collect two embryos of each mutated specimens as samples, excluding the tyrant. Dispose of the tyrant. Ensure complete disposal of the Arclay Laboratory, including all personnel and test animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. When the above procedures are executed, report to headquarters for further instructions. If for, if for some reason you are unable to execute the procedure by the deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extension number 5691. Good luck. Lovely people. Grab the dagger. Get you looking all the way over here. Thank you. have your eye as well. Tell very much. Well, that was relatively painful. Painless, rather. Right, and we shouldn't really need to have to come back here. So I can just run past these. And then pop in here, give the tiger his other eye. Tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. Yes, I will take the MO disc. Seems rather odd to hide a disc using such elaborate means. Right, where do I need to go now? go to the main hall since I've got the jewel to do the little box puzzle the helmet key. There's something handwritten, it's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting, not even Suspenser. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. And that... Crap. Uh, that painting is where we've... Uh, that secret room behind the painting is where we get costumes once we've got the special key. Right, let's go drop some of this shit off.
this room should be clear. Yes. Safety, right. You there, you there. Uh, no gunpowder to mix in this game. God, I love this music. Right, let's try this again, shall we? I miss the guaranteed head pop of the shotgun. Why are you all doing this to me? It's like you don't want me to enjoy myself. I believe. I think I've put you in the wrong place, haven't I? Yes, you're supposed to go like that. Right.
There we go. Got a new key. Right, and this should be done. Yes. I complete. My brain just switched off there for a minute. I completely forgot how to do that puzzle. Go back around this way. Drop these items off, sort out the mini room and then drop off the shotgun for a bit. Get the handgun because the next area is just zombies and I don't want to keep wasting shotgun shells on them. And I need to go back and pick up those handgun bullets as well. supply of ammo for this. More than enough for the Zombos. The doorknob has been repaired. Yep, yeah, we know. Wesker told us. He did it. Yes, discard the emblem key. Shit, I need the shotgun. Oh, unless I can get it to jump on me, then I can shove a grenade in its mouth. Yeah, let's try that. Don't worry, Rebecca, I'm coming. <coughs> I know for a fact that door works. I want you to jump on me, please. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Saves me a good that day. Rebecca. Chris! Are you okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here any longer. We have to get to the others and find a way out of here. You with me? Yes. Then I'll go ahead. Until then, Rebecca, you're on your own. Stay cool I and use your better judgment. Got it? I can handle myself. Good luck. Um, so this is the problem with what with what Resident Evil Zero did by making Rebecca the lead. She manages to take on zombies, tyrants by herself with a little aid from Billy occasionally, and then we get to, back to the mansion, and all that development we see of her character in Zero is gone. This is the problem with prequels. If you need to preemptively alter your story later down the line, maybe you should have started with that idea originally. 
And this is another reason why I think Zero would have been better focusing on the other Bravo team members, because we know what happens to them. There's very little that you can, very little that can go wrong in that situation. Like Enrico, Forrest, Kenneth, Edward. Well, not Edward because he dies on the train, but the others. We know what their ultimate fate is at the end of the day. Yeah, I know it's too dark, Chris. There's a light there. Turn it on. Shotty shells. Thank you. Yes, I will grab that. <coughs> and another grenade. Anything else in here? No. Great. Okay. Back in here. Drop these items off. You there. Okay, let's head back now. Head back to the kitchen, grab those handgun bullets, and then get the lift to, a, to another area. Should get the lift from here, can we? No. <coughs> right. Don't worry, I remembered. I remembered the bullets are out here. Give them to me. Anyone in there? No, it's clear. That's a tiny lift. R Resident Evil 5 Chris would struggle to get in there. Oh, damn it, I don't want to be wasting grenades. At least there's health here. And a red herb.
I knew you weren't dead. <coughs> Your friend is pretty conclusive. Two spaces, and I need that battery. <sighs> I'm gonna have to come back here anyway, so I'll grab the ammo and come back for the battery. Or alternatively, I can just use the herb. I've got plenty of health items in the uh, chest no point dicking around at this point is there really Pretty sure there's a hunter in here now somewhere. Now I'm going to an area where there are two hunters. Son of a bitch. I don't want to face them. I'll go. Ugh, screw it. I'll go the long way. I'm not playing for time here, so it doesn't matter. I've already unlocked all the unlockables on this game on other saves, so I'm not trying to unlock those. I'm just reacquainting myself with the lore. And I can't do that if I'm dead. I quite like those uh, low level growls they were making, though. Uh, kind of like Predator. You know, those uh, kind of clicky noises he makes? Remind me of that. Alright. Uh, for now, we'll stick the battery in here. Shotgun shells, magnum bullets. But for what we're going to be facing next, I'm going to need the shotgun. So I'll take that. And as you've probably guessed, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I'm Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.